hi everyone thank you for watching my videos i have had some fun findings from the various feedback from many people here on this channel asking me why i am actually this much passionate about cement and concrete in general well i coming from a concrete background and basically dealing with concrete on almost a daily basis and perhaps working in a lab where we have students that are also taking part in researching about concrete. It mesmerizes me to find that there are sometimes, that sometimes concrete labs are a bit boring and uh, not really engaging in terms of how people deal with the research activity itself. So in the last one or two months, I decided to actually start thinking of fun concrete or cement related projects that I can be able to come up with and basically develop some kind of uh, you know feedback and interaction and fun related thoughts and also provoke you guys to know how deeply you really appreciate this subject. So over the time you've perhaps seen some of my videos trying to mix for example cement with eggs or trying to mix cement with coca-cola or trying to mix cement with milk I mean these are not any of the convection conve you know these are not any of the conventional mixing liquids for cement or with concrete you know that we normally use water and, uh, and we, sp we specifically classify the water to be potable water something to the level of drinking water so it would be it would be interesting for one to actually wake up and be in a situation where they have only coca-cola or where they have only milk and they are wondering how do they make concrete out of it how do they deal with it but as a fun project i decided let me try out and see and uh, perhaps you've seen some of the results and you've been perplexed or you've been wondering what it really means and uh, what do we have so as a continuation on some of those videos I've attempted to get the to test some of those specimens in a rather rudimentary or in a non-standard test of checking out some of these specimens so here you can see how the specimen mixed with eggs looks like then we have the one of milk then we have the one third one there that is coca-cola and then we have the one where we used actually clean water so i'm lining them up here in this order clean water coca-cola milk and then eggs and reading them to be put in an in a furnace i'm going to heat them up to a thousand degrees and see what happens thereafter is there anything that happens to them i know once concrete is raised to temperature of over 100 then some of the water it contains starts evaporating out and all the water that is within the matrices that's getting lost so anyway i put these samples in a furnace and expose them to temperatures of a thousand degrees for about three hours and thereafter I, I i wanted to check what really happens are they still strong did they disintegrate what went wrong and so when it came to time for finding out what i realized that uh, most of these specimens that were not mixed with water actually didn't turn out to be worthy any anything that they didn't make a lot of sense i mean well they cracked and opened up for example they all cracked and opened up as would be expected but uh, it, it was surprising to see how the eggs and how the milk and how the coca-cola mixed samples easily disintegrate after being exposed to the such temperatures and however the, the samples that were clearly mixed with water stayed intact and did not show much differences except for the several cracks that formed on the surface but they were really strong this clearly shows the resilience or the strength of concrete itself and perhaps the need for us to stick to using clean water to continue to mix concrete or any cement with so clearly i did not 
make this a standard test as you can see I'm using just a, a broom end to try and uh, crush these samples which is something perhaps that is that was the nearest thing to me there but uh, at the end of the day it gives you it gives you an impression of what to really expect and uh, what you can have in case you ended up with that I don't know what would happen at temperatures that are slightly over 100 or the long-term performance of such a mix and so on but uh, for me also interesting here was the fact that the egg sample could be able to turn into something different I know there, are, there must have been several chemical processes or chemical reactions that happen for example when you mix the concrete with cement or with milk or uh, when you mix the cement with when you mix the cement with milk or when you mix it with coca-cola or eggs but uh, the fact that there is not much of the binding property that has been established after this kind of exposure means that these these liquids or whatever mixtures that were made out of this could not hold much maybe in their in their form before being exposed to this maybe they could hold some strength but uh, in this case we cannot find much which is really something that I find maybe if any of you is interested in engaging in any of these further studies to check perhaps what is more convenient what is usable what isn't and you know for curiosity's sake because you don't know what you may find you may find that maybe you hit a jackpot with some interesting find of how cements react with something and maybe discover something new that we have been missing from from the beginning so who knows let me know what you think let me know what you you come up with if you can double check i mean you can do the same things and if you have time and uh, capacity and the, the desire to engage in something like this and check it out for yourself you can come back here and provide some feedback for the rest of the group or for other people who may come upon this channel and or see out these videos anyway with that i thank you very much and uh, yeah let's keep engaged out continuously be thinking of similar projects exciting or in special videos or in special episodes where i really tackle a topic and then give my more of a deep understanding of what needs to be done or of a particular subject of concrete of course those are going to be more of weekly episodes but for they'll be having in between episodes of such fun fun field projects and uh, hopefully we can uh, be able to you know get a pace of how we should continue with this channel or with some of this material anyway thanks for watching and have a lovely time